I think in my case, it was um, definitely something that came from outside. Perhaps interiorly I had a disposition towards this, but I was not aware of it. But definitely, at least in my case, it was a calling from the outside that kind of pulled me into this. My name is Karina, and I'm called. I actually didn't have any particular interest in religious life or sisterhood, but it was just something that came to me one day, out of the blue, a total intuition or total kind of inspiration that suddenly kind of was in my head that I needed to be a sister, and I was like, I didn't know where this came from, and it's not me, <laughs> I don't seem to be interested in that, but it was a thought that just kept um, coming in my mind all the time. So I must have been like in high school, and I tried to push it aside for a couple of years. And, um, you know, I did some student teaching and a few other things. I tried a few other things, you know, in terms of working and I was very successful. But somehow deep down in me, there was, uh, I wasn't really very peaceful about it, even though I got what I wanted to. And so then I decided, you know, I need to go with that feeling of peace. And so then I uh, applied to be a sister. Well, you don't need to be a sister definitely to do what I do, but I think the, the difference in being a sister is the total commitment of time and the focus that you can give into this. And definitely you can do it as a lay person, but it, it's, it's a very important part, I think, of becoming a religious, a sister is the community base, where you have a kind of a, a sense of community because then that kind of leaves me free to do a lot of what I can do because of community. I begin my day with meditation and prayer. Uh, that's very grounding and that's something I look forward to early in the morning before I, you know, do anything else, I do that. And then, um, of course, it's the regular work. I work in, at Woman Well, uh, which is a spirituality center here in the Twin Cities in St. Paul. I love walking, so I do a lot of walking down the Mississippi River. You know, we have a lot of walkways and things like that. And a lot of art here. You can go to the museum. I love museums. I love history. I think we are just very regular people. And, um, you know, we are interested in whatever's happening in the, in, the, in the world, in the universe. We are interested in politics and social events and things like that. And uh, we do a lot of fun things together. Yeah. We enjoy coming together and, you know, socializing, having dinners and, yeah, I think, and just connecting with people, you know, it's not, I guess our social life is not restricted just to sisters, but also, you know, in the wider community, doing things together. It's fun, yeah. I think what excited me about FSPA, or what wanted, invited me to be part of the community was this whole thing of being grounded and rooted in sacred tradition and yet the life being very modern and being open to that. So there was this wonderful balance of the sacred tradition and modern life, which I found really, really very refreshing and fascinating. What was unique about FSPA was I didn't have to fit into a mold that the community had, but it was like, what are the gifts and talents that God gave you? And how could we use that at the service of humanity and the universe? I'm a city person and um, I work well with city dynamics. And so that's where I am working. So it, it kind of, there is a place for a city girl, there's a place for, you know, a farm girl. There's a per place for someone who's interested in media, or someone who's interested in teaching. There's a whole variety of ministries that FSPA does. If religious life is a calling, or you feel a nudge towards that, I would say, give it a try. Just come in and have a look, come and see. Yes, I definitely believe it is a calling to a religious life because 
you can do great and wonderful things just being in the world as a lay person or a married woman or whatever. But a total dedication <clears throat> to this kind of life, I believe, is a calling. I have absolutely no regrets for having been a sister. There were a lot of challenges, lots of difficulties, but never for a moment have I regretted my decision to uh, become a religious. And I would do it all over again.